You may have heard the expression, if and only if, in a math class or some other context. In this tutorial, we'll look at what this means as a conditional relationship. As the name suggests, a if and only if b is formed by conjoining two conditionals using the if rule and the only if rule. So it asserts two things, that a is true if b is true, and that a is true only if b is true. You can use the if rule and the only if rule to translate these rules into standard conditionals. When you do, the expression looks like this. If b then a, and if a then b. This asserts that the conditional relationship runs both ways. Given a, you're allowed to infer b, and given b, you're allowed to infer a. It's not surprising then, and this is also called a biconditional. You might encounter the biconditional written in different ways, but they all mean the same thing, that a, a implies b and b implies a. Biconditionals show up a lot in formal logic and mathematics. They're used to demonstrate the logical equivalence of two different expressions. From a propositional logic standpoint, the defining feature of a biconditional is that the claims a and b always have the same truth value. If a is true, then b is true, and vice versa. Here's an example of a biconditional relationship whose truth is obvious. Let A be the claim that the triangle ABC has two equal sides. Let B be the claim that the triangle ABC has two equal angles. And it's clear that if A is true, then B is also true. The sides AB and AC are equal. From the diagram, you can see this requires that the angles at B and C must also be equal. And it's also clear that the converse is true as well. But if a triangle has two equal angles, then it also has two equal sides. So if B then A is also true. But if both of these conditionals are true, then we can say that A is true if and only if B is true, and vice versa. One of the helpful things about learning about the biconditional as a concept is that it helps us to remember that ordinary conditionals are only half a biconditional. They only go one way. If A implies B, it doesn't follow you can go backwards and say that B implies A. It reminds us that you need to argue or demonstrate that you can run the inference in the, in the other direction as well.